Good afternoon and good evening. I'm Sunny Harris, and today we're going to talk about swing and day trading with Sunny Bands. Seems like every presentation I do for timing research, I'm talking about Sunny Bands. And why not? What does John Bollinger talk about? Right? So let's see if I can get my presentation to moving here. My passion, and it's truly my passion, is in helping traders. I like to help people who have not yet become wildly successful, people who have not traded much and want to learn, and folks who want to improve their trading results. I have people call me all the time who say, I've lost all my money. I'm digging a big hole. What are you going to do to get me out of it? <laughs> That's the truth. They do. So you need to know, this is my disclaimer, uh, there is risk of loss in trading anything, only risk capital that you can afford to lose. And hypothetical performance results may not be what you end up getting in real time trading. So read the disclaimer about the hypothetical performance results also. And past performance is not a predictor of future results. All investing involves risk of loss. Uh, your capital is at risk when you invest. You can lose some or all of your money and never risk more than you can afford to lose. And I have a full set of disclosures on my website. If you click there, this PDF will be posted to moneymentor.com, which is the website. Guess what? The market just closed. And website posted at the bottom of each page. And there's my phone number. You can call me anytime you want to, except during this presentation. And all of my education, all of my information is educational information purposes only. I'm not telling you to trade. I'm not asking you to trade like I do. I'm not even suggesting you trade at all. Most people, I think, start their trading and investing portfolios by choosing stocks. But the real question is, how do you pick the right one? How do you know what to trade? Because there's 6,500 stocks out there to choose from. How do you pick one or two or five to invest in? So I'm going to be showing you what I do and using some of my proprietary indicators for this talk. I'm going to teach you how to use sun, how I use Sunny Bands to trade future stocks and crypto for my own account in all kinds of markets. Just a little about me. I am a professional trader. I've been trading for over 42 years. I currently trade future stocks and crypto, but I've traded just about everything, even options. But I no longer trade options. I found out that I only know how to lose trading options, and that's not my game. So let me show you real quick what I look at when I trade. Here's yesterday. So a green chart to me, I, I use colors to point out everything. It brings forward information without me having to think. So a green chart is always a five-minute chart, and you can see that right up here. It says E-mini, five-minute. So that's my chart. It's sunny bands are the green and teal lines that form a, a channel, if you will, around price. Price <clears throat> bars are red and blue during the day session. I have a little indicator that colors them for me. And correspondingly, they're green and magenta in the night session. So I don't have to guess which session I'm in. I don't have to go, go down to the x-axis and see the time to know. I just look at the color of the bars. Typically, bars will form inside the channel and reverse at or near the bottom channel and go on up on blue bars, up, 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 up. And here, right here is the sunny man sell signal. The next bar does not confirm it with price action, but the following bar and the one after that, do confirm it. And it went on down later in the day. Oh, we must have just gotten some 
earnings reports, the market just screamed up about eight points or so. So this text that you see in the middle of this chart is reading these yellow dots, which show me the perfect trades. Each yellow dot is a, is a pivot point, and it shows me where the perfect buys and sells are. It says that there's $5,000 on this chart, which spans from 111 to 123. So we've got about two weeks of trading data in there, I guess. So pH, the ideal is not anything you can ever make. You can never catch all the tops and bottoms. You'll always give money away on the entry and give money away on the exits, or at least I do. So the potential hourly wage, PHW, is 60% of the ideal. So I know that this chart for the two weeks could make three grand trading one contract. Ideally, it would have made 50 trades. So that's how I read this PHW indicator. Then I have on the bottom a histogram, which is, well, my dynamic moving average is the purple and gold lines in the middle of the chart. They look kind of brown, actually. But when they're spread apart, they're purple and gold. And this histogram tells me if gold is on top of the zero line and showing, tells me the gold is solidly on top and moving up. When it turns red, it tells me gold is still on top, but it's squeezing in. The two moving averages are getting closer together. As they get closer and closer together, you can see that, they, that this will turn and become purple. On the left-hand side, you see it's green. It goes purple first and then green to tell me again that the band, the uh, moving averages are narrowing. So that's how that works. Here's a quick quip. I call them quips and quotes. And everything that people send me in emails, I put it on my website. So this guy, Aaron, says, I made 57.72 on the first day of my free trial of Sunny Bands. It told me exactly where the turns were, even with the high volatility today. You're one of the very few people that allows test drives. It's nothing short of amazing. So that was Aaron. And if you want a free trial, text the word Sunny Bands to my cell phone. And I'll send, set you up with your free trial. So I am a professional trader. I've been trading since 1981 through the 41% crash of 87, the 38% crash of 2000, the 52% crash uh, of crash. It was a crash of crashes in 2007 and 2008, as well as the 38% COVID crash. So one of the things I like to remember is there's always going to be another crash. There's always going to be another boom. And there's always going to be another sideways market. So we have to trade all kinds of markets in order to survive. I trade the S&P futures on one and five minute charts. And I've been doing it for, well, 42 years now. I do have long st term stock holdings. And by long term, I mean a week or more. <laughs> because when you're trading five and one minute charts, a week looks like long term. And I do trade a little bit of cryptocurrencies. So today I'm going to show you how I trade short and shorter term charts. In other words, swinging and day trading using sunny bands and my dynamic moving averages. So just quickly, I've been twice rated number one CTA by uh, Stark Research, and I was using sunny bands and my dynamic moving average to do that. And there's the proof. My trading company is called Rourke International. I grew up poor in Appalachia. I have three degrees in mathematics and one in photography. I've been programming for 54 years. I've been trading for 42 years. You can hear all this if you go to chat with traders and listen to my podcast interview with them. I became a systems programmer for Lockheed. I founded a little company called ISCO, which was the world's leader in computer graphics software. I retired when I was 30 and I gave my money to money managers. It took them three weeks to lose $75,000. And I thought, I can do that poorly on my own. So I took my money back and I started reading and practicing and drawing charts on graph paper. And I taught myself to trade. Now I've read actually 746 
trading books. And you can see when you zoom with me, you can see my bookshelf in the background. I didn't enter any trades the first year of watching the markets, however. Oh, I also published a uh, Traders Catalog and Resource Guide, a monthly magazine for eight years. I've written five best-selling books, Trading 101, Trading 102, Electronic Day Trading 101, Getting Started in Trading, and Trade Station Made Easy, which got the number one star award. And I wrote a book called Going Vegan with my friend Linda Blair, whose birthday was day before yesterday. Now I'm working on the Definitive Guide to Trade Station's Easy Language and OOEL Programming with my friend Sam Tennis. I've written articles for all the major magazines. I'll just run through these real quick. And so there's the covers of my books, so you can see that real quickly. Oh, and I ghost wrote using Easy Language 9.x for Murray Virgilio. And there's my magazine. And I changed the title of the book, but that's essentially what the cover is going to look like. Oh, let's just go right past all that. I belong to all the major ma uh, membership uh, societies, organizations, and I've got customers all over the world. So it doesn't matter to me where you live. Don said, nice bands. This morning, I did a couple of quick MES buys and sells. Then I bought into an upward moving ES, which was signaled by the dynamic moving average. I followed it to the top, sunny band, closed, sword shoulder, sold short at the top, followed it to the bottom. A $4,000 account, what I'd moved into my futures account, returned about $2,000. It doesn't get any better than that. And he, again, was on a free track. One of the things that I do is break things down into the elementary parts. So how do you make a six-figure income is important for me to know. So you want to make $120,000 a year pro, uh, trading, programming, huh? Trading. Um, if you take it divided by 12 months, then that's $10,000 a month. Now, that still seems like a lot of money. But if you divide it by 20 trading days a month, it's only $500 a day. Now it doesn't seem quite so impossible. But there's five trades at $100 each. So who couldn't make five trades a day and pick off $100? Well, it's harder than it seems, but that's the goal. And if you look at charts of the E-mini, in the S&P, there's usually a 1000 to $3,500 potential going both long and short, one contract. After 42 years, I still print out my charts every night. I still look at all the moves that were there, and I look at those yellow PHW dots to see uh, what did I catch of the moves, right? Because if I didn't catch them, I'm doing something wrong in my trading. So I look at those and check out uh, which way the market's going and which way I'm going. One of the questions I always ask people is, are you a trader or an investor? An investor buys and holds for the long term and a trader gets in and out and goes long and short, hoping to get short-term profits. I'm both because I trade one and five minute charts on the S&P and I trade daily charts on my stock holdings. I have two different portfolios for them. Well, I have more portfolios than that, but basically that's it. So I'm going to break it all down for you and show you exactly how I trade. This next picture, I guess, looks kind of complex, but really it's not. I use color coding to key me into action on things. And you see, to me, that looks like green is go, is go and red is stop. That's easy to, to see, and, and it, it emotes or I emote when, when that comes up that color. If it were pink and purple, I'd have a different reaction to it. So here's the Dow. I printed that out last night, I think. And that's what it looks like on a daily chart. And you can see it's just not a buy and hold sort of situation there from April, is it? So almost a year with no progress. So how are you going to invest in that? It's just going up and down. 
So let's add sunny bands and take a look. Same chart, more information. So we go from bottom to top to bottom to flat DMA, which means do nothing, which means we're not going to do much of anything right through there. Back to the bottom, back to the top, back to the bottom, back to the top. That way you can tell. And, and if I put PHW dots on here, you could tell those are the trades. Long, short, long, short. It doesn't seem like it's that big a deal when you have sunny bands on there. And it isn't. This is my dynamic moving average histogram. I showed you this. And it amplifies the trades. So you can see right here, this is actually where the long signal comes in. And it's actually confirmed. It hits a flat DMA and goes back down. But then it continues. And right here on this green bar, which is right there. And I, if I click it, it'll swish the chart. Mm. But that's where the long signal was. When that green bar on the histogram echoes the sunny man signal, that's when I take it. So let's talk about buy and hold versus trading. This is the Dow daily chart again. We've got the dots on it. So you can see that's my PHW indicator. So you can see the perfect trades. It stands for potential hourly wage because I asked myself a long time ago, can I make more money trading than I can by working for an hourly wage? If you can't make more than $15 an hour, you really should be trading. You really should be working at McDonald's. So the dots are the ideal turning points, but we, as I said, we can't be perfect. So I take 60% of the ideal as my goal. Let's look at buy and hold on the Dow for a minute. If we buy at the beginning of the chart and sell at the end, you make $2,778. $2,778. But if we trade, instead of buy and hold, we go long and short, trading the highs and lows. With PHW, 60% of the ideal on the same chart, there's $80,000 on there. So we've got $2,000 or $80,000. Make sense? It's quite a difference. So how do you know, for instance, that in 1982, you should have bought Apple and held it for 50, 40 years? How do you know that? In 82, the charts look different. So I look at my Sunny Bands indicator and the DMA histogram, and of course my PHW indicator, and that's how I know. Right back here, I had a yellow dot go up, and the yellow got go down. That's the place to buy right there at what? What is that like? Thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars in some sense. Oh, maybe that's going to that dot. Thirteen seventy five. And it goes up and it goes up and it's go. You could trade. This is a monthly chart, so I could show you the long term. But if you traded these dots, you could see the perfect. It hits the bottom goes up and hits the top, turns red, goes down, hits the bottom, and turns blue, back up. And here's another one that the yellow dots don't show. This is a sunny band signal, blue up, red down, hits the flat DMA and bounces back up again. So we're constantly making trades on that one, or you could just look at this and buy right there and just hold for the next 40 years. Here's the same idea on Ethereum. Now I do trade Ethereum. This is a weekly chart. And you can see back here where it was under $500. It goes up on blue, comes up to here, comes down on red. We go down, we've got a flat DMA again. So we're only gonna go down at most to the lower inner band. It does do that. We got another signal to go long, another signal to go short to the flat DMA, another long, Etc. It just kind of gets boring because it just goes back and forth like that all the time. Let's look at buy and hold versus trading again. In Ethereum, you would have lost $170 per contract on buy and hold or would have made $19,000 trading up and down, up and down on a daily chart. Now, Sunny Bands, all my indicators, in fact, 
work on any chart on any symbol on any time frame it doesn't matter if it's arithmetic or logarithmic it doesn't matter if it's five minutes or one minute or five days or five years it works the same regardless so i've written all of my indicators to work on any time frame and any symbol here's another quote aaron said that he is this is the same aaron he called me up and said he uses sunday bands to trade options on the qqq well i don't trade options and so when he said that i kind of turned white he says when it turns purple i go it's a sure bet price crosses above the lower outer band sometimes but you wait a couple bars within the lower outer band you catch it on Friday on options expiration. You sell puts, and it's a sure thing. And I did it on Tesla, too. Now, those are his words, not mine. But he's willing to talk to people who want to trade options with Sunny Bands. If you want a free trial of Sunny Bands, text the word Sunny Bands to my cell phone, 760-908-3070 for your free trial. Okay, this is the ES or the S&P uh, daily chart. And you can see again, same story. Blue up above, red down below, blue going up. We get a flat DMA, so it turns back around, et cetera, et cetera. Another flat DMA, it turns back around. That's what I do. And to me, these Sunday bands, I mean, I've been trading Sunday bands for 36 years now. I've been trading for 42, but I didn't invent Sunday bands the first day I started trading. So it took me a few years to come up with something that I think works. So 36 years on these Sunday bands, and I haven't changed any inputs. I haven't optimized anything. It's just been the same for 36 years. Any symbol, any time frame. Here's the S&P on a five-minute chart. So you can see I've got night session bars, day session bars. And this was, when was this? Huh, I can't tell. It's not on there. Here's a guy, former IT professional who called to get a copy of my newest book. And since it's not ready yet, I talked to him about Sunny Bands. And he said he thought Sunny Bands was way too advanced for him. So I talked him into getting a seven-day free trial. And in the first week of the free trial, he made $11,050. Now, he was in sim mode still, but he's made it, nevertheless. To get your free trial of Sunny Bands, text me at 760-908-3070. And I'll tell you more stories. So swing trading is the practice of trying to profit from market swings so we're looking at a day to maybe a several weeks but we're looking for swings in order to swing trade it's uh, sometimes your trades can last intraday sometimes then they can last to days or weeks or even months sometimes and uh, the problem with swing trading and i don't like to do it anymore i used to but it exposes you to overnight and weekend risk when the price could gap and you never know what's going to happen the next day. So I don't like those gaps. I don't like that we've got 23 hours worth of trading a day because uh, I'm not going to stay awake 23 hours to trade and watch the charts. So I close all my positions now before the close of the market each day. Swing traders can take profits utilizing risk-reward ratios, stop losses, profit targets, or technical analysis and price action movements, all kinds of things. There's any number of ways to swing trade, but basically you're, you're following the yellow dots on my chart that I showed you. So here's a daily chart of Apple. You can see the swing trades there. Here you're, you're going up on blue down on red in the sunny bands. Now we've got short to there. So we've got about 20, 25 bars, maybe 20, 25 trading days, so a month. So that's a swing trade down to here. And then we trade long and then we swing trade back down to here and back up to there again. 
here's the same apple, this one on a 60 minute chart. And you can see the day bars and night bars colored differently. But you can see the swing trades there are sometimes holding overnight, sometimes trading in, in the night. Oops, what just happened? There it is again, 60 minutes. And the same indicators hold. Sunny Bands works on any time frame, so it works on 60 minutes as well. But you can see that the swings don't stop just at the close of the market. For instance, this one goes from the open of the market through the night hours down to and then closes on the open of the next day. Here it is on a 15-minute chart. It looks like this is sensitive. Anytime I touch it, it'll move. So this is a 15-minute chart. Same idea. Here we've got a swing trade that lasts till midnight and then gets out and holds overnight here still. And you know, that looks like around 11 or so. Oh, it says 8 o'clock. Eight, 8 to 9 o'clock in the morning right through here. And then you get out of that one and swing trade down. So if you started Apple at 47 cents in 1981, the current price of 149, as an investor, you would have made almost 400%, which is pretty darn good in a whole lot of years. But the trader made 635% profit. So if we look at those yellow dots and take 60%, you can make 635% in the same amount of time. The day trader, however, made 1,200% by trading a much shorter term uh, time frame. So that's why I'm both trader and investor. Now, let, we, let's ask the question, is it possible? Well, the answer really is yes and no. Um, you can't catch all the moves. That just never happens. You don't make a hole in one every time you play golf. So uh, I've researched it and 60% is about what you can get. It's a, it's a realistic number. And that's what it's reflected with my PHW is that 60%. So the investor has to sit through long periods of scary negative markets, whereas the trader can go long or short or exit. So for example, oh, I talked yesterday to a guy from Italy who heard my interview on chat with traders and he's been trading unsuccessfully for eight months and he reached out to see if Sunny Bands works with the Euro. And of course I said to him, it works on any time frame, any uh, symbol. And he took the seven day free trial. And yesterday he said to me, this thing's fantastic. It catches all the tops and bottoms. I'm like, well, it doesn't catch all of them, but it does a pretty good job. Works on any symbol, any time frame. Let's look at the Dow Jones because we're all familiar with that. And it's reported daily on the news and we all relate to the number. When they report the Dow's three, down 300 points, you know what that means. You have a, a feel for it. If these say uh, the ES is down 63 points, that doesn't mean as much. But in the last few weeks, we've recovered somewhat from the lows, even though this week it lost 673 points. Now you see, you have a gut reaction to 673 points. There's a feeling about that number, but it's only down now 9% from its highs. So it's, it's not as bad as it was. It was below 20% there for a little while. So here's the daily Dow. Again, we've got the swing trades on here all the swings and you can see went down on red turned blue went up to the top turned red went down to the flat dma bounced back up to the top and back down to the bottom same story daily dow jones here it is on a weekly chart same chart histogram oh and this little thing i've got on the bottom the purple and gold ribbon is i call that <coughs> pardon me who's on top because it tells me at a glance whether purple or gold is on top in my DMA in the middle of the sunny bands. So I don't even have to look down there at it. I see it in my peripheral vision and I know who's on top instantly. 
So the YM is the Dow futures contract. Let's take a peek at that on a five minute chart. Same story, down to the bands, on blue, back up to the band, on red, down to the bands, on blue, back up to the bands. And this, this is what I mean by short-term trades. These are, I mean, you could say these are swing traders, but there's several swings a day. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and maybe six swings that day. And that's how I trade short term. I, I always figure there's three to five moves in a day. Sometimes it's straight up. Sometimes it's straight down. And there aren't three to five trades, but on average, three to five a day. And here's what I'm going to tell you about the dynamic moving average or DMA. The thing that makes it different from any other average, any other simple moving average, whatever complex moving average you've got, exponential, um, weighted, uh, Kaufman's KAMA adapted moving average, mine sets its own inputs internally with the math that I've programmed in it. And instead of most, most moving averages will start you out with values of nine and 18. Mine changes dynamically with every tick of the market. It recomputes its inputs. So it's changing its lengths dynamically. And the sunny bands are average true ranges from the DMA. So the upper band is 2.0 average true ranges away from the DMA. The inner bands are 1.2 average true ranges away from the DMA. And, but the trick to the whole thing is this funny calculating DMA that uh, adjusts itself with every tick of the market. Yep. People ask me, in fact, this morning I was asked, is this like Bollinger Bands? And the answer is no. Bollinger Bands has a simple moving average, which crosses back and forth over itself. And he uses standard deviation bands, and I use average two ranges. Standard deviation tells you where the market should go statistically. Average true ranges tell you where it is going, not where it should go. And I created mine to get rid of whipsaw. And the standard moving averages probably produce the most whipsaw of any indicator. So here, for instance, is what Bollinger Bands look like. We've got a simple moving average. We've got a simple moving average in the middle gray with bands on either side, standard deviation bands. And if I, well, I did program up his signals and we get signals at each of these turns here. And the performance report shows it loses $3,800 in, what is that, a month and a half or so. But if you take the same chart, same everything, same signals, it makes 12 grand on Sunny Vans, the same signals. And here they are on a chart together. You can see the red and the cornflower blue, that's the Bollinger Bands, and the green bands and the teal are mine. So, and his moving average is the gray one you see moving through here, and mine is the gold and purple. Now, the first thing I look at on any chart is what I call attractors. Uh, I coined that term uh, to describe all kinds of support and resistance, including moving averages, where price tends to revert to the mean. So if we've got lines of support, we've got Fibonacci lines, we've got moving averages, those are all, to me, those are all attractors because they attract price to them. Next thing I put on a chart is Sunny bands, based on my dynamic moving average, gold and purple lines, see, you relate already to those colors. And they're in the center of the bands. And I don't short stocks. They're held for longer term. I buy them and hold them, and I wait for a sell signal, and then I take profits. So we, sunny band sell signal, and I take profits. <clears throat> this next chart, for instance, tells me which stocks are above all three of those moving averages that I told you about. And I have, a, of course, an indicator that I wrote 
with these three moving averages in it. So it also tells me whether my DMA is bullish or bearish and what the potential profit is. This is radar screen in trade station. And you can see, see here, I've got, I've put the S&P 500 in it. And then I sorted it by PHW to tell me where the most potential profit is. So I've got these top stocks here with the most potential profit. And whenever they're green all the way across, that tells me it's above, price is above all three moving averages. Here it says it's above the 21 and the 50, but it's under the 200. And I would want it to be over the 200 and bullish. So my DMA is telling me bullish. The three moving averages is telling me bullish. And this one is the highest one on the potential profit scale. And I publish this every Sunday night in my sunny side of the street. If you want to take a look at it, uh, shoot me your email. You've got my phone number. Text me your email address and I'll put you on the list for sunny side of the street. So there's the, DM, the three moving averages and the DMA. So first I look at those three and I have a scan that will scan for all three of these. And it looks like, um, well, this is referring back to that other chart. So I, I find the stock showing all green cells. These are bullish. I look at the scanner results and here's what the scan looks like. And I just run this in trade station. It takes a couple of minutes and it tells me all the stocks that are above all three moving averages. Now, I have other scans that I can narrow this down with, but that's the starter. Is it above all three moving averages? And that's also in every sunny side of the street. Here's Testa, for instance, with my three indicators on it, four, because, well, five, because I've got one that plots the color of the bars, PHW, who's on top, and dynamic moving average and sunny bands. So you can see, here we go, down to the bottom, up on blue, still up on blue, still up, still up, still up. This is the last few days. And then we've got up on blue, top band, red coming inside, and then we take the short. Comes down, flat DMA, tells me this is do nothing, so I'm gonna get out of this trade when as soon as it gets below the DMA. So that's a good strong market right there. And you can see on the daily chart, the last, what is that, 10 days or so, looks like it's done really well. It's been purple for a long time, purple on top for a long, long time. And this last day, yesterday, it turned gold for the first time in, well, since before October. So let's do the same thing on the ES. Nobody trades the, the big boy anymore, the SP, but I used to trade 20 contracts of at a time. And I started in 1982 and the margin was 50 grand a contract. But now the ES, the E-mini contract is what everybody trades. And the margin for it, the overnight margin is 11,660. Intraday margin is just uh, a tenth of that. So 11,166. No, 11,66, $1,166. So the E-mini started on September the 9th of 1997. And... It's not as recognizable as the Dow, however. Like I said, you recognize 300 points on the Dow, but not 67 points on the E-mini. <clears throat> but it's the most liquid contract in the world, which is part of the reason that I've specialized in trading it and almost nothing else. I do trade stocks longer term, but here's the daily chart of the ES. You can see it follows the same pattern up to the top, back down to the bottom up. And it's on its way to the top there. And here it is on a five minute chart. And this is my day trading chart. So remember, I get in on the open, or I don't get in the open. I usually wait till 7 a.m. my time because I don't like to trade the open. So we go long there, short there, flat DMA telling me it's not going to go any lower than that, back up long, back short. So I've got. One, two, three, four trades, maybe five if I wanted to trade all five of those that day. 
here's the NASDAQ on a 60 minute. And a lot of people like to trade the NASDAQ. Uh, it does tend to gyrate more than the E-mini. And I do watch a NASDAQ one minute chart because it tends to lead the E-mini by a second or two. So I watch that on my, on my uh, trading screen constantly. January, I, I do give a few predictions. I said for 2023, the market is seriously overbought. No, I think that was for 2022. But it could stay that way for a long time. I think it will correct down to the Sunny Bands midline at 41.91. They asked me how soon. I said, I don't know. I'm just reading the charts mathematics. And it did correct. Yeah, see, that is for 2022. I'm sorry, that number is wrong. It corrected to 40.86 by February. So it even corrected lower than I thought it was going to go. Fibonacci retracements, I usually put them in light blue with the numbers over on the right-hand side. And it turns out that Fibonacci extension and retracement lines are very good attractors. You can see how price just goes right to them over and over and over again. I keep them on most of my charts. Uh, I pre my next projection was that the ES would drop to the DMA midline, which was at 4211 on the monthly chart. And that it would probably or may drop down to the FIB 23.6 line, mm -hmm. which was at 3697. And we're currently at 4001 as of this writing. So now what? I'm betting my money on shorts still. Does everybody here know what a short is? And the market did go down to 35.02. It went lower than that fib line by 195 points. Let's talk real quick about short versus long. Some people are new and don't know what this means. Long means you're going to buy something hoping it'll go up. And short means you're going to sell with the promise of buying it back later. So you're selling something you don't own with the promise of buying it back later at a higher or lower price. What you hope is that it's going to be at a lower price. So when you sold at the top and bought at the bottom, you would make the difference. Market, however, usually goes down faster than it goes up, which makes, for me at least, it makes shorting a lot of fun. I love to go short. Shorts can be very profitable and quickly. So again, here's my main chart. Who's on top? Dynamic moving average histogram, sunny bands, day sessions, PHW. This is what I this is what I focus on. Is this chart? Five minute was always green though on my trading screen. I thought it'd be easier to see white for you guys. Five minute long and short. Long and short. That's what I do. Long and short, long and short. Usually three to five moves during a six and a half hour day, and I no longer hold positions overnight. And that's all there is to it. I look at the attractors. I study the histogram and the Sunday bands. I trade the E-mini on one minute and five minute charts. And I trade three to five times a day. With equities, I buy and hold for weeks to months to years, depending. Here's my website moneymentor.com. You can see my phone numbers right at the top. My email's right under that. Um, if you want to see quips and quotes from people, here's click on quips. You can read what everybody's been saying. If you want to be a free member, click on membership. Uh, sunny side of the streets under books and articles, products and services. You can link to my podcast or my trading room through there. I do a live trading room every Tuesday morning. I did lousy this morning. But it happens. Every Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. California time, I trade live for one hour. All of my products were developed for my use and my own trading, and I do make them available to other people. I do show you exactly how I use them. I don't hold anything back, and I'll train you to use them for free. I'm always available by phone or email, so you've got live support from me, not from somebody else that I pay to answer the phone. And I do have bundle discounts available if you buy two or more indicators together. 
I offer education and consulting, easy language programming, mentoring. I have a complete bookstore on Money Mentor Books. I do a distance learning program. These are indicators that I use myself in my own trading. I do sunny side of the street every Sunday night and a Tuesday morning live trading room. And remember, these slides are going to be posted on Money Mentor in the membership area. And here's my special offer today. Start your seven-day trial today. Text the word Sunny Bands to 760-908-3070. It doesn't hurt a bit. Are there any questions? Let's look at the chat area. What is, do you short when it closes below the band? Uh, I short when it closes below the upper band. And if it's going down strongly, I stay short as long as it goes down. I stay short. It does not work yet with Ninja Trader. I'm working on that, but it's going to, it's going to be a while off. The trade platform that I use is TradeStation. It does also work on multi-charts, but TradeStation is my primary platform. Somebody asked, what is your entry and exit signal or strategy? And I'm not sure if that was for me or the presenter before, but um, mine are, I enter a long position when red bars come down under the sunny band, and a blue bar goes up and closes within the sunny band, I enter long, I exit or go short when it goes up on blue bars to the top sunny band and turns red and comes down within. You missed what platform I use is TradeStation. Anything else? You can always call me, you can always text me, you can always email me. Thank you, David and Anka, very much. Appreciate you being in your room today and all the work that you do for our community. Thank you, audience, for showing up and for sticking around. I really appreciate it. What's the vote of the didium? And I don't know what that means. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to sign off. Thank you, everyone.